Hi there, everyone. I'm Jake Perrine, lead trainer at warpacademy.com. I'm excited to share with you a full length tutorial from my brand new Ableton Live 9 Jumpstart course. In this action packed course, we explore Live 9 in depth across four weeks. It's the ultimate way to learn Live 9 fast. Making an audio recording in Arrangement View is a much more traditional recording experience. You select where the recording will take place on the timeline and execute the recording. The starting and stopping of recording can be controlled with the loop punch brace and or a count in. There is no global quantize value to worry about, although the snap to grid value remains useful. The process for making an audio or MIDI recording in Arrangement View can be summarized like this. Arm a track or multiple tracks for a recording. Select the desired input type, input channel, and monitoring mode in the in-out section for each track. Check incoming audio levels and tone and adjust accordingly. If desired, set the punch in and punch out points with the loop brace and enable the punch in and punch out switches. Otherwise, set the arrangement position at the location where you would like to begin recording. Enable the Arrangement Record button in the control bar, and when you are done, press Stop. The loop brace also serves another key purpose when recording audio or MIDI in the Arrangement view, the Punch In and Punch Out controls. These controls allow you to set a start and end point for your recordings, which can be helpful when you are recording yourself or when you want to overdub a short phrase of a specific length on a track that already contains useful takes you want to keep. Particularly with audio clip recordings, which take up valuable hard drive space, I have gotten into the habit of using the punch in and out brace to record exactly the length I need and no more. Additionally, you can loop record multiple takes with the loop brace and then trim the recording to the best take. Using these controls could not be easier. Begin by setting the loop start punch in point and loop punch length using one of the following methods. You can click and drag to select the range of bars in the arrangement that you plan to record to, and then press Command L or Control L to set the loop brace to loop this selection, which is not what you want, but it puts the loop brace in the right place. In the control bar, deactivate the loop switch and enable the punch in, punch out switches. You could also click and drag the loop brace start stop triangles to the range of bars you want to record to, and then enable the punch in out switches in the control bar. Or third, you could type in or click and drag the desired recording length into the loop punch length box, and then enable the punch in out switches in the control bar. Once you have the punch values and switches set, place your insert point, also known as arrangement position, a few bars before the loop brace and enable arrangement recording. When the arrangement position reaches the punch in point, recording begins. When the arrangement position reaches the punch out point, recording stops, but playback continues until you stop it manually. 